cook it really hard because it was like. She a got lot. a face on her like we do, like I do. <laughs> it's not easy to be a mother. What are you doing? Oh, oh why gosh, don't you finish I... your thing now that yeah, you're okay, up there? I got another tape in here. Okay, go on up there now. Can we start from uh huh? Do it after. Okay. No, no, no. All right. Ready? And where'd you get that? The festival we went to. It was yeah. in a park. I forgot which name it was, though. That's nice. So what happened to you? You're taking amoxicillin? And Tylenol, because I got an ear infection. Oh, okay. Just want to get that for the record. <laughs> Small cabin, but of course it's a boat, so... And there's Jamie. <laughs> I'm trying to get She's the birthday girl on the cruise here. So is Jenny. 
Well, it was worth it. It was. That's okay. Here we are on the boat. Having a good breakfast. And what kind of breakfast yeah. you got there? Pancakes, waffles, and syrup to go from pancakes. I mean, not waffles, watermelon. We're on the boat. Look at Morning. Where's Jenny? Why don't you get a picture of her and mine? Um, she... I don't know. And I know what I do. Right here. That this is something else and it's not. Too much. Oh, oh, no, no. We gotta have that for the... Tell what you're eating, Jenny. I'm eating. <laughs> I'm having Ooh. this, this, and this, and this. <laughs> now, may I eat? It's a biscuit. I always keep these in here. Good. You carry everything. Thanks, Jamie. Yeah, that's me. Oh, I didn't know you were videotaping. <laughs> Like a it's just really it. No, thank you. <laughs> you sure? Hi. Ah. You guys have to put this on the brakes, so I can't. Say goodbye to the United States. This is not the Atlantic Ocean. What is it then if it's not? Well, I mean... Say goodbye. Bye. Wave goodbye to America. Bye. <laughs> Captain Bob. Where? Summer, see it.
Ranger Station should proceed to the Atlantic Lounge, forward on the Atlantic deck. Once at your muster station, you will be issued with a white jacket and crew members will direct you to the lifeboats should this be necessary. All crew members undergo regular training in emergency procedures, and in an emergency, you should follow their instructions and guidance. For your comfort and safety, please remember that a Viking princess is a ship that will stabilized and sometimes move unexpectedly when at sea. Please abide with our way. Walk to wherever moving around the ship. Pay close attention to the entrance ways, especially to the appendix and restrooms, the that have raised skills that you must step over. Always hold the hand for us when using the stairways. Please use extra caution when the outer decks are wet as they can become very slippery. Please do not leave your baggage unattended at any time. Please do not throw any garbage over the side of the vessel. Use the trash cans provided. Also, please do not dispose those cigarettes over the side as they can blow back on board. Please use the ashtrays provided. And if you plan to go ashore and report, please ensure that you have your blue ticket receipt with you as you will need it to report the ship. Thank you for your close attention to this important announcement. I wish you a most enjoyable day on board the Viking Princess. Where are you going now? Tell us where you're going. once you get off the ship to the Bahamas. Now, I do want to mention the Bahamas, the service isn't as um, um, as fast as U.S. service, so be aware of that, okay? It's not um, as, uh, it's more laid back, so you're aware of that. And that's what it's usually like, you know, in Caribbean countries. It's not as, okay, sometimes you get uh, 
somebody passed, but you know, it's kind of rare. I uh, do want to mention though, um, if what about getting back to the ship if you're an overnighter? We, you must be back before 5, but I wouldn't get here any sooner than 3 because you're going to be out in the baking sun. It's very hot in the Bahamas. So those of you going out there and a tan quick or burn easy, make sure if you put sunscreen on a half hour beforehand because it doesn't work. You just put it right on. It takes a half hour to take effect. So if you're going to um, get here in the ship early, it could be raining. Hopefully not, but sometimes they you know, have uh, drizzles, showers, whatever. So. If your hotel will lock your baggage up, you may want to have them locked. If you win the lottery, do what this lady did. She won the lottery, true story. She calls up her husband and said, honey, she says, I won the lottery. Fan most fantastic news I've had ever. He goes, great. He says, what should we do? He says, well, I'll tell you what, i got a great idea for you, honey. Pack your bags, be ready to get a house in 30 minutes. He goes, where are we going? She says, no, I just want you out of the house in 30 minutes. Make sure you're gone by the time I get home. That's right. Get out. Lost and found is the reception desk. Should you lose anything? Bring it down there. It helps us find it. You know, it's not easy to find these things. All right. Electricity is 220. Some guy came up the other day wanted to know if we created our own electricity on board. I said, no, sir. We have a long extension cord from Palm Beach. How else can we get out this far? Does that make sense? Just tell my wife that. Your photographs are on display next to the casino on Crown Deck. They turn out lousy. You buy them anyway. Why? You'll have several hundred people staring at them all day long. They'll be laughing at your dinner table. You don't know why. I'll tell you, some of those pictures could be brutal. In fact, I went down, I was at the desk and this girl was complaining, she goes, she's mad at the photographer, she goes, look how bad I look in the picture, how, look how bad I look in the picture, I looked at it, it looked just like her, what's she complaining about? Don't get mad at your, the photographer, get mad at your parents, well, they had nothing to work with, what are you going to do, take a marker to it? A little beard and mustache on there, disguise yourself, little glasses, what the heck, that's what I did one time, my picture was so bad, I just covered it up, alright, 21 years old to drink, look to see some ID here, it looks like. 18 to gamble in the casino. No age limit on bingo. You have a four-year-old out there with 10 bucks, we'll take it from the kid. We're not going to be proud about this. You've got kids with money, get them up here. Get them out of the disco. Instead of playing for children's bingo, they can play for the real thing. we got to make that $1,000 up somehow. All right, uh, safety. Should you be concerned about safety? Absolutely not, ladies and gentlemen. The crew is trained in marriage procedure. This is the green mustard station read by the pool. You come to this deck. The only time you should be concerned about safety if you see a lot of crew getting in lifeboats without you. They're not coming. You see that Greek captain in South Africa took off and left the, everybody on the cruise ship. He was on the cover of the New York Post. They had the front, big picture of him, right? And the bottom caption that Chicken of the Sea. I don't know if anyone read that. True story. You've got to read the New York Post, like the inquiry with the sports section. All right. Now, now I'm going to help you with this safety stuff. Okay, because I'm, I'm, I'm trained in merge procedures. Okay, you come to this deck. Um, it's life jackets and life boats are here. We give you the life jackets, life boats. Emergency situation, go down in those to get away from the ship. Now, what if the life boats are gone? Okay, you, do I? Okay, do I jump over? The only time you jump overboard in a very extreme case, just say you wake up, everybody's gone. Okay, then you gotta jump. Now you get your life jacket on, you put it on tight. You hold down on it, you jump feet first. Don't look where you're jumping, you'll land that way, you'll smack your face, and it'll wreck your cruise. That'll upset your cruise, won't that happen? Now you hold down your life jacket. Very important for the men to crisscross those legs before jumping. This will avoid stream pain when contacting the water. And you may want to start a family someday. It could be a cold day, you know, it gets cold. Now, you're in the water. You swim towards those life boats and life rafts. Why? They got all the food there. Somebody will be eating it all. Some hungry person at missed lunch will be eating all the 25-year-old cheese and crackers. Now, what if the lifeboats are gone? What do I do? You swim away from the ship. You unravel your life jacket tied to the person next to you so you're easy to locate. helps avoid hypothermia. See somebody float by you don't care for? You let them go. Does that mean you're doing something until they pass by? Now, somebody actually asked me the other day, what if there's sharks in the water? Very important to have a sharp instrument with you. You cut the person next to you, you swim away. <laughs> they become shark bait. He gives you a good 10 minutes. Maybe look for Flipper to get yourself out of there. Just jump on a dolphin coming by or something. But you may just want to nip the person you don't like anyway, just so you know if there's sharks in the area. Just a warning system. You know, they're not going to know. I mean, this this hasn't been tried lately. This lady's great. you got to come back tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Staying over here, man. Because you know what? Other than you, honey, you're all I got. All right? I, I know that. You're it. All right. Don't die on me now. Don't die. I still got another 10 minutes left here. Die on me now. Okay. I'll say something stupid. Relax. Calm down. 
Seasick pills. You don't need them on your stomach because it makes you tired. Uh, in all seriousness, if you need to take them, you get them at the desk, they're free. I don't recommend it. I say, if you have problems with seasick, you go to the bar, order yourself a tequila and prune juice. Your priorities are going to change. The last thing you're going to worry about is seasick. That's the last thing on your mind. As long as you're not on the QE2, because they're just passing out champagne buckets on there, and they put no champagne in it. Okay. Now, dress and attire. Don't worry about it now. Okay, you can't go home and change. Just don't uh, wear any swimmer, bare, bare feet in the dining room. Now, to start the morning off right, ladies and gentlemen, turn around and say hello to someone behind you. Turn around and say hi, loosen up. Come on, it's a very friendly ship. It's just like being at church on Sunday. Don't you hate when they make you do that? Then you feel good because God was watching. I know I feel much. All right, let's not get overly friendly now. Calm down in the back. Okay, I want to give away some free drinks um, on some trivia questions. These are easy questions. East of most state. Maine. Who said Maine? That's incorrect. Who knows said it? All right. What? This is incorrect. North Carolina. North Carolina? No. It's not Maine. It's not North Carolina. Uh, hold on. 45 more states to go. Yeah, Puerto Rico rejected. I think. Yeah, they didn't want to be a state. They're smart. They're getting all the benefits without being a state. France. What? France. Okay, that's another. When, is, when do we buy France? Okay. Okay, um, <laughs> Alaska's eastern, western, and northernmost state, because the Aleutian Islands. Did you say Alaska, man? I'll give this lady a free drink, Dad. Of course, we didn't know that. There we go. We, we didn't hear it. We're sorry. There we go. Don't say another word. Take that drink. Here. Did you? Did you? Very good. That's, but most people don't know that. Uh, how do you tell the difference between a cow and a bull? A lot of people don't know this one either. <laughs> A bull smiles when you milk it. Right, there you go. Give this guy a drink, too. A bull smiles when you milk it. That's correct. You'll, you'll have a friend for life. He'll be following you around all day. Never get rid of him. How many times must you laugh a day to help your immune system? Minimum or maximum? Well, this lady is a hyena. We're going to give her a free drink just for laughing. The answer is 6 to 30 times a day. And, honey, you're never going to get sick. Thank you. You probably could cure every disease if you just plant that, that personality in somebody else. All right. Actually, it helps your immune system. You have to leave a minimum of six. Some of you may pass out before the day's over. You need to get it out of your system because, well, ladies and gentlemen, if you hold it in, it creates gas. You could explode. So just let it out, okay? Now, um, <laughs> what do you get when you cross a crocodile with a Shetland pony? Crocodile. Crock a shed. Crock a shed. You gotta be quick about that, okay? I don't want to give the answer away. You gotta jump in there. All right, I got another one for you. Um, what is the most feared thing that can happen to you? Number two is dying. Number one, someone said being married to Mrs. Bobbick. What? Very good. No, I didn't say the boat sinking. Oh, that's not it. Mother in law coming in? Well, that's pretty scary. But um, no, actually, uh, number one. What's that? Husband walking in. That's got to be pretty. Did it happen to you? <laughs> no. I don't know how we get in there. Good Perry from C thank you from Sebring, Florida. Nice round of applause. All right, and you two folks, who who was runners up there? I'm gonna give you a couple of drinks. Come on back up here. Did we give Perry from Sebring a nice round of applause? I didn't hear anything out there. All right, that's better. Oh, yeah, take it easy. Oh, yeah, take it easy.